had an assignment, not sure if he completed it. Yes, I did. Don't worry about me. Okay. Did I'm not worried about assignment? you. I didn't have an assignment. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What was my assignment, Sam? It's about, I think, homework. Take it by uh, ordering. Oh, okay. Your to, to oh, yeah, he just wants to be combative, Sam. I didn't have any homework. Therefore, my homework is complete. <laughs> okay. All right. So did you start your first step, like, ordering the supplies? Yeah, I ordered my supplies, and I got my uh, flyers uh, organized, and I got my um, business cards. Good. That's good achievement. All right. Good job, babe. Yeah, yeah. So, Andre, that's done. How do you feel? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. you, you accomplished something. You are in control of your job. You are on the top of your business. Mm -hmm. And also, you feel good about the uh, the prognosis of your job business. You know that you know what I'm doing. Good. The good things, you know, I will get the good results. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so, good. That's good. So I'll start yeah. passing out flyers and drumming up business again. Yeah. yeah. Square one. Good. 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 And did you communicate this to her to f make her feel comfortable? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I heard about it. Did you hear him mm -mm. say, don't worry about me? He keeps his stuff all over there yeah. okay. and doesn't share with me. So, Sam, we heard for the first time together. Uh -uh. Okay. It, it, it's good. Since you are a good achiever and you have done what you're supposed to do, uh, it's a good news. Mm-hmm good news to tell her and to make her feel secure, safe, optimistic that, okay, my husband is on the top of his job and he's the man of success. Mm -hmm. So that, that would, uh, if she has anxiety, her anxiety would be reduced, you know. So that you know, it, it's just a matter of communicating what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. He caught a win, and he needs to share his win with me. Exactly. That way, we can celebrate together. Yes, I consider that everything's a win. A every win? every step forward is a win. And you know, showing up to therapy today is a win. If she feels good, this would be reflected on you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because. Now, she doesn't have to worry anymore, mm -hmm. and she relaxes. Mm -hmm. and if she wants to say something, she would say good things, you know, mm -hmm. that would be comforting to you. So, it's like a cycle. Stoking the fire. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, you feed her with the good news, mm -hmm. she gets relaxed, safe, and she wants to return this back to you mm -hmm. by saying, good job. Pop your stuff, Sam. You know, I'm proud of you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, it, it gets like that uh, mm -hmm. as a cycle. So that, that that's even important. So as you are making everybody have a happy, you know, I will make you happy, you will make me happy. You know, it's, it's a sharing, a sharing thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And life is a process mainly, you know, it's not the results that we get, like, okay, well, at the end of my process, I will be getting my reward. The reward starts when I start my process. Mm -hmm. Like a student. Mm -hmm. Student cannot wait until he graduate, he or she graduate from university, and say now, oh, now I have my certificate. Mm -hmm. So that's too long. You missed all the joy. Miss all the joy. Okay, your life is a process. Mm -hmm. That I'm on the right track. Yeah. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Pop your stuff. Yeah, I'm living after all. 
achieving, having a relationship, exchanging good stuff with my partner. Mm -hmm. so, so we need to enjoy the process of our life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, when, when the results come, that's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you know, we add the results. That's extra celebration. That, that's extra celebration. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I get you, Sam. Yeah. You're speaking my language. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I, I think we share him the same thing, you know, he would share mm -hmm. with us the same, you know, because it's our life, mm -hmm. how to manage it, you know, life is about challenges, mm -hmm. challenges, some challenges are opportunities, other challenges are problems, okay, now what is our role. What to do with the opportunities, what to do with problems. We, we are created to invest the opportunities and solve the problems. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the goal of our life. Sounds good to me. Every time we are faced with a problem or opportunity. This is good, this is bad. Mm -hmm. But why, why we are faced with the problems? Because we have the brain, the skills, the knowledge to fix the problem. It's only a problem because we don't know how to solve it. So, so it's really just perspective. The difference between a challenge and a problem, both of them you don't know how to solve, but it's your perspective. You know, if you come into a challenge like, I'm about to figure this out, then you're excited about it. If you go into a challenge and you're like, oh my God, now it's a problem. So they're one and the same, depending on your perspective. Yeah. So they, they both are challenging, mm -hmm. whether they are opportunity or a problem. Always an opportunity. I think they're always an opportunity. Okay. If it's perspective. Uh, yeah. But we don't like, have to go uh, back and forth. Let's say, uh, if you want to expand my business, or my, my income from my business, does not match my living expenses. This is a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. So here I have to start brainstorming to add a solution or alternative mm -hmm. again, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially if I know our resources, you know, you, know, you are in an area of job or field that you know the resources. You know, or if you want to expand your customers, you know how. If you want to do the advertisement, you know what kind of advertisement or marketing. Or, get, or if you want to hire some people to help you with the job, you know what kind of people you are going to hire to be honest, to be hardworking, mm -hmm. you know, to be honest with you. So, yeah. So. Uh, that's life, facing, dealing with challenges. Okay. We don't have to be scared, we don't have to be fearful, because we are created to deal mm -hmm. with life demands. These challenges are life demands, mm -hmm. you know? And it's doable, it's doable, mm -hmm. you know, as long as, you know, we have the knowledge, we have the brain, we have the body, we have the skills, you know. Uh, if we need information, we, we, we do we research for the information. Mm -hmm. If we need uh, support and help, we look into resources, you know. So we have to have a purpose. And also the tools, mm -hmm. the tools, the measures, for our purpose and the timetable. Yeah, you know, we are, in, we are, you know, approaching, we are approaching our purpose mm -hmm. in a timely manner. It's not like something, okay, well, maybe next year, maybe two years from now, I would try this or try that. No, I, I got myself in the process. I have the vision, I know where to go, and I know where to start, and 
I have the commitment to start. Smart goals. We're not working on that. Sam, you are on what I identify, no disrespect, but I want to, I want you to help us. You are on what I identify as a tangent. So you're just going off on, we got your point like five minutes ago. So how can you ask us a question to help heal us? Because we, we know we got the message. You got the message? Yeah, you got the message. I got the message. So I just want to move forward. I want to utilize our time effectively. So I mean no disrespect, but I've zoned out and he's zoned out, which means we're not using our time effectively. Smart goals, we get it, we understand. What's next, Sam? Next is like the human touch. The human touch. I am working on um, being more physically affectionate. That is one of his complaints about me. Um, he touches me more than I touch him and it's not a cognizant thing of me not touching him. Um, so that would just be him communicating with me more, but like he'll lay on my lap and those types of things. So, um, and I'll reach over and stroke his hair, but it would be up to him to tell me if, you know, one, I appreciate the effort you've been making to, you know, have more physical touch and also I would like more physical touch so that I can touch him more, but I need him to communicate that to me. So that is one of our issues that we have um, as far as. So if you know that I want more affection, and then just give more affection. I do. Why do I have to say it all the time? Because you, do you see that I have increased? No. You think it's the same as it's always been? Okay. And I feel that I have increased, so that's why you have to say it all the time, because I feel that I have improved. And if you do not feel that I have improved, then you have to reiterate and say, hey, you're still not showing up for me the way that I need you to. And I'm like, cool, what do you need? Here's my lap, sit in it. What do you need? You know, I don't know. I like that. ways of expression. Mm -hmm. One is verbal and the other one is body language. Verbal language and body language. The look that I give, like when I smile to you, mm -hmm. when I send you a visual signal that, you know, Nonverbal. Nonverbal. Mm -hmm. Just like by looking, looking and making sure that he get the, the, the visual signal from your eyes that you are happy mm -hmm. that he's your husband. I'm lucky. So I can give him some. So is it that you want? Is it? You can't. Yeah. We have two uh, kind of eyes. So, would you be satisfied with the look? Like, are you on some physical touch? Like, I can tell when he looks at me and I can feel his energy when he wants a kiss or he wants a touch. But I was just like, do I just walk up on him and do that? Like, I don't know. But I feel his energy when he gives me the look. Yeah. And so I should be more responsive to the look. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Our eyes have to kind of look. Stop it, boy. Mm hmm One is a critical eye. Mm hmm And the other eye is comforting the eye. Mm hmm Pleasing the eye. Mm hmm Okay, the look that you're going to get from me is to pass the message that I am happy living with you. I am happy being with you. Mm -hmm. I feel secure because you are there. Mm -hmm. I know that you are available for me and I am available for you. So this is the look. What luck do I give you, dear? 
Do I give you a critical eye or a, what's the other eye? Pleasing. The pleasing eye. Which eye do I give you? More critical. I mostly look at you critically? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Homework. Good, good, good feedback. Mm -hmm. Because we want to know what's going on. Okay. Because this is what it, it matters for us. Mm -hmm. What goes on between you and him. Mm -hmm. The relationship, the interaction, mm -hmm. the touch. Mm -hmm. The touch could be psychological, could be physical. Mm -hmm. Physical touch and psychological touch. Are you open to psychological touch? What psychological touch? Just talking? Yeah, yeah talking. Oh, what? Uh, uh, emotional, looking, looking while I feel. I feel satisfied, I feel admiring, I feel satisfaction. Yeah, that's, sure. That's the good, uh, you know. That's a good look, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can work on that. Yeah. That'll be my homework, Sam, write that down. Yeah. My looks yeah. and my touch. Yes, okay. I will work. take those two assignments. Work for lying. <laughs> Can't do that like I that, was practicing though. my look, Sam. He laughed at me. Look. Touch. touch. Look and touch. This is the art of relationship. Mm -hmm. But it it has to come from the heart also. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we are not just doing this uh, as like a physical thing or Robert. Mm -hmm. It has to come from the heart because you are a human being. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, okay. If you give him the good look, you mean it. Mm -hmm. You mean it because he's he's the, gonna feel it. He is he's your man. Mm -hmm. He's your present man. He's your future man. He's the man that you rely on. And you want him to be strong, successful, happy, safe, mm -hmm. healthy, and wealthy as well. You said something there, Sam. I like it. Yeah. I'll go, I, I power him up by my looks and by my touch. He feels stronger by the way that I show up for him. And I need to show him that I value him through my touch and my look. That's what I received. It's affection. And this kind of a treatment should not be conditional. Mm -hmm. What do we mean by that? It should not be conditional. That I do not set condition for showing my admiration, my love, my human touch, unless I show some progress or, uh, you know, success or Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're supporting each other no matter what. You see, just don't give me affection uh, uh, when, when it's convenient. So, can I ask a question? Yes. Or when you want something. I don't do that, but what percentage would you say that my affection is presently, and what percentage would you like to see it increase to? It's like percentage. Yeah. I don't know. You probably are like a twenty percent right now. I'm at a twenty percent affection, and you would like yeah. to see it increase. What's a realistic increase that we can see uh, over the week, right? So he wants a ten percent increase, or you want a thirty percent increase to fifty percent? Uh, Where you uh, want to be? As much as you, uh, if you can yeah. increase it to sixty, eighty percent. I know, but in a week, that's not going to be realistic. You want authentic affection, right? So. I will make I'm efforts to, realistic. no, I just want you, you want me to completely become a whole new person in a week without, you look, boom, here, look, Sam, let me let you know how I operate. Uh, like, are we not here to see how I move so that we can figure out how to move the way that I move? Okay, here's how, of course it's about me, 
if we're trying to figure out how to tap into me and make me be responsive, then we got to figure out me, correct? Yes. And when he's ready to talk about himself, he has to identify how he moves so that we can now tap, tap into him. But since I'm talking about me, this is how I work. In order for me to come into a change, because for me, change is in evolution. It's not just something that I pick up and do, because if I pick up and do it, I'm going to put it down when I don't feel like doing it anymore. So we're looking for lasting change. So in order for me to give him lasting change, it has to matter. It, it has to click in. It has to have a connection point in my brain for me to, me to be like, okay, I want him to feel like he's the man. I want him to feel like he can conquer the world. So if touching him and looking at him and doing these affectionate things is what's going to make him do that, now it's clicked in and boom, now I change. But what we're saying here is we're going to fake it until we make it. Okay, how can I fake affection until it clicks into my brain? Because right now it's not clicking into my brain. You could want it to, you could want it to, I could want it to. But it does not have a connection point. Until I get to the point of having that connection point, I'm going to have to show up to his desire. So if he's saying a 10% increase, I can, cogniz I can cognizantly say, do more, Lonnie, do more, Lonnie, do more, Lonnie, until it clicks in, it's just second nature. It's not second nature, and it's not going to become second nature after we walk out of this office. But what I can do is rise to his expectation of a 10% increase. So he needs to also let me know, I see how you're showing up for me more. I appreciate it. If he doesn't acknowledge my, my, my growth, then he's not feeding me either, right? So I'm not getting what I need either. I need to know you appreciate or you see what I'm doing for you. And then that'll also click in to be like, okay, boom, I want more praise, like you said, from good job, it becomes a cycle. Now that he's giving me praise for my efforts, now I'm like, okay, boom, well, here's another touch. And he's like, I like that. Ooh, well, here's another eye. Ooh, I like that. So now we're in a cycle, and now it becomes a part of me. Exactly. That's how I work, Sam. You, 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 you said it well. Thank you. Uh, I the most important thing is that we don't want we don't wait until the other shows us what we like, and then we react or response. We rely on ourselves first. Yeah, someone's got to go first. You know, if I want the relationship to be like welcoming, uh, pleasing, I would not wait until she starts. Okay, I would be good if she shows me some good behavior. No. If she does the same thing for me, I am waiting for her and she's waiting for me and we are both sitting mm -hmm. and waiting and nobody showing the good behavior. Yeah, someone's gotta go first. So I always show affection. Yeah. No one says so, you're not. He's saying we don't wait. He's saying somebody gotta go first is what he's saying. Uh, so I'm going to touch you, whether you say you like to be touched or not. Okay. And you're going to say, ooh, baby, I like that. And I'm going to say, ooh, you like this too? And you're going to say, yeah, I like that. And I'm going to say, ooh, baby, you like this too? <laughs> so, yeah. I have to be sarcastic first. I can't be authentic. It's not authentic. So here, yet. it's like I take responsibility mm -hmm. for the change. Like, I don't like the other. And that's mutual. Mm -hmm. like we take the responsibility. For the initiative, he takes responsibility for the initiative. Mm -hmm. So you will find yourself both are working on the same page. Yep. Receive. Both, both are welcoming each other, getting closer to each other, sending positive messages, signals to each other, rewarding each other at the same time. Yeah, like he likes to feed people. I've noticed that his, I know this isn't identifiable in the book Love Language, but he likes to feed people and he likes to go to the movies. Those are two ways that he likes to spend time with people and allow them into his space. And so he gave me some cookies. Yeah. So that was his way of showing affection towards yes. me. Yes, yes, that's nice. That's that kind of appreciation. Mm-hmm. the good behavior, mm -hmm. you were appreciative, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. If you initiated any good behavior, he would be appreciative and admiring. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Third, the statements, the quality of statements that we use. If we want to say something about the other, mm-hmm. remember the I statement? The I statements, yes. Either, okay, if I say you, that's mm-hmm. a you statement. Mm-hmm. It has to be good about you. Mm-hmm. Or I don't use you. I would keep silent. I've been working on that, especially in my writing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, when I say you, I say, oh, you are a, a hard-working person. Mm-hmm. You are a smart person. You are a lovely, pretty person. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are emotion. You are. You have good heart. Mm-hmm. So this is your statement. Yeah. Uh, we don't use your statement to blame the other. Okay. Well, I didn't cook to the, for today because you didn't bring the stuff. Uh, Maybe I would say, oh, maybe if I remind you to bring the vegetables and the meat, and you know, I, I, I would be able to. So next time I will remind you. So here I didn't blame him. Where's the accountability? If I reminded him or if an individual knew that they had to handle a certain task and they did not handle that task, i.e. bringing the vegetables and the things to cook dinner, then they come home and I'm like, well, where's, and they're like, well, where's the food? And I'm like, well, I was unable to cook dinner because there were no fruits and vegetables and cooking foods available. But the reason why it's not available is because they did not handle their task. How do they come into a space of accountability? Okay, he is smart enough to know what he was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So, I don't, so he's gonna hold himself I don't to have task. To Okay. Uh, what I would say if he said, oh, why do you think cook dinner for today? Mm-hmm. I would say, well, I didn't have the materials to cook. Yeah, because I don't then cook. He's the smartness. Would say, well, yeah, I was supposed to go to the market and mm-hmm. bring the stuff. Mm-hmm. So she would be able to cook the food for us. So they self-correct themselves. I, yeah. I get it, without you having to make yourself the bad guy. Yeah. I respect because that. We, we avoid to make each other defensive or offensive. Mm-hmm. If I look to him as an offending person, he would become defensive. Mm-hmm. And maybe he will become offensive if he gets too upset. Mm-hmm. So we want to avoid being either defensive or offensive mm-hmm. in the relationship. Otherwise, offensive and defensive, we are like uh, defensive, Okay, I don't believe you, I don't trust you, I don't, that, that's defensive. Offensive, okay, well, uh, you know, you caused me to feel the pain, I will cause you to feel the pain. That's not a relationship. Received. Well, so, yeah, so the quality of the statement, and your statement should be always good, or I, I wouldn't say anything. Mm-hmm. You know, I will be silent mm-hmm. if uh, I have a concern about him, about an issue. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I want to remind him, I would not remind him in a way to f- make him feel guilty. Mm-hmm. I would remind him just to be able to accomplish something before it's too late. All right, so I have a very real example. My daughter keeps going into my other daughter's bedroom, and I know we have bought the Allen Ranches, but this is so that he can give how this can be handled correct, or not correctly, but using a better language. All right, so it's been a very long time that he, that Dre has been asked to change the doorknob, and it got to where he needed a particular Allen wrench, and so it was waiting for him to buy the Allen wrench. But in this time, it's been a, a, a substantial amount of time that has passed since we've been like, hey, can you change your doorknob, change your doorknob, change your doorknob. And so how would we reapproach this using a less inflammatory language by saying, hey, it's been six months. Can you change the doorknob? Like, how can we get the doorknob changed without saying it in a way that's going to cause? Yeah. Uh, instead of saying, telling him that 
look, I told you, I told you many times to fix the door handle, and you didn't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like not here accusation. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, oh, maybe uh, you are too busy to find the time to go to the market and buy the ranch to fix it. Uh, mm, if you like, I can go and mm -hmm. buy this ranch and you know, once you have the time, mm -hmm. you will find the tool to fix it. So here, we are not like one chasing the other or waiting for someone to make a mistake, to say, look, you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. No, we are not in this business. Mm -mm. We are in the business of helping each other. Mm -hmm. So, what is our goal here? Our goal is to fix the door handle. Correct. How we can help? Uh, okay, if he uh, would remember on his own and he mm -hmm. will get the wrench and fix it, well, that's fine. If he's too busy, he mm -hmm. uh, forget, okay, I would give him an option. Uh, do you like the, would you like me to go to the market and buy the tool for you so you can do it? If he says yes, please do it, you know because you will save me time of doing this. All right, so now I bought the Allen wrench and it's still not getting changed. How do we go now? Even we have the tool? I went and got the, I went to the market, got the tool, now what? Okay. And, and it's been two weeks since I did that. Okay, then maybe find the right time for him when he's not tired or exhausted or, or not in the right mood, when he's happy and he has time. Just tell him, do you like to do this uh, door handle now? If you know, since you feel good and rested and everything, mm -hmm. he said yes, yes, yes. Okay, get me the tool, or he will pick up the tool and do, do it because he wants also to fix it. He knows that if he doesn't fix it, you know, there's a problem. You know, mm -hmm. relies on that. So, yeah. So we are we try to create the environment. Mm -hmm for each other to function better. You know, we always function better when we have the right environment. Agree. You know, healthy environment, peaceful environment, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like, yesterday it was very windy. Mm -hmm. And we have a tree in the front yard, almost was going to fall over. Fall over. Mm -hmm. So, my son was fasting and in his bedroom. Uh, I asked my wife to call him to help me because it's heavy. I cannot, mm -hmm. you know, somebody should hold the tree and the other one should fix the, the, the wire that hold the tree. Mm -hmm. So I sent a message for him that please, uh, it's very windy. If we wait a little, some more time, that the tree will fall down. Mm -hmm. So he came and I said, thank you for coming. I know you are fasting and it's hard for you. And it, so even his son, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he, he was happy about the statement that I made and he started helping me. And we worked together and we fixed the tree and etc. And he said, well, I'm proud that I have a man like yourself, and, mm -hmm. you know, who can stand by and support me. And so, it went well, and we, instead of saying like, oh, you know, you're supposed to do this, it's not my job. Mm -hmm. You know, you are the young man, I am old man, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't say all oh, this stuff, just yeah, okay, let's, let's do it together, me and you, right. hand by hand, hand with hand. I have a question. How would the doorknob situation be received for you in order to, and I'm not, this is just theoretic. We're just using a real situation, working it in theory. How would I need to approach you in order to get that taken care of? Sam offered some points. We know how I have handled it. How would you need to be addressed in order to? I don't have no problem just asking me to do it. It's, it's you know, my thing is, I get sick of being everything for everybody. I have to 
fix stuff, I have to pay stuff, I have to work, I have to do it, and then it's constantly, as soon as I get home, everybody's asking me to do something, take them somewhere to do this, fix this, do that, it's just, you know, I feel like I'm everything to everybody all the time, and I don't get reciprocated. Mm. I feel like that a lot of people. Well, uh, when we come back from job, usually we need to, to have some rest, to to relax, to heal to the news, until we regain our strength, our energy, whatever. Maybe you or one of your children will approach him and say, oh, Dad, would you please fix our door handle because it is, you know, it helps us. Uh, and I, I will help you. Or show me. I would like to learn from you how you fix things. So next time maybe if it gets broken or something, I can do it myself. And he will be happy. Oh, yes, I'm going to teach my son or daughter how to fix the door handle. So they will acquire a skill. Mm -hmm. uh, part of our parenting is to teach our children some skills. Mm -hmm. You know how to fix things. And, you know, even if I have a flat tire, I would ask my daughter or my son, "Come, come and give me a hand." Mm -hmm. Why I'm telling her I can do it myself, but I want to show her how I can fix a flat tire. Mm -hmm. So if she's on her own and she got a flat tire, she can fix it on her own. Mm -hmm. So this is part of our parenting. So maybe it's like we have a challenge. Did you say a challenge and a problem, right, earlier? Yes, yes. So we have a challenge and a problem. And I said the difference between a challenge and a problem is perspective. So how you look at it. So, yes, the doorknob needs to be changed. How can you look at this as instead of somebody asking me to do something and look at it? Like I said, I can touch him once it makes sense to me. And now I want to do it. How can he change changing the doorknob and all the other tasks that he has to do um, as something that he wants to do? And what I would think of based off of your example is um, I can teach our sons how to change a doorknob. I can teach Bailey how to t change a doorknob. We can have a meaningful conversation while we're doing it. Like this is an opportunity for me to feed into my children and you know make this into something instead of another task that i have to complete so when it's another task it's a problem when it's an opportunity to transfer knowledge into your child now it's an opportunity so now you have taken a problem and turned it into an opportunity so i think if i understand what you're saying and i will do my part to you know since it's your car i'd be like hey Dre will take you or since you've been moving and you're already in moving motion that's what I take advantage of I will take things off of your plate in that perspective I apologize for that because I can understand that's why I totally withdrew myself because I feel like people pull on me all the time too so I understand what you're saying and I will be um more cognizant and receptive of that and take things off of your plate but there are certain things that you just have the knowledge. You know how to change a doorknob. I actually got to go watch a YouTube video, probably mess up the door, mess up the doorknob, and I'd rather just pass it on to you. But there are things that I can do that I pass on to him that I don't have to. So I will be aware of that going forward. But the things that you have the skill set to do, figure out how to make it have meaning to you. Like bring in your kids and say, hey, let me show you how to do this just so it doesn't and feel like it's another thing on your plate. You would share, you would stand by him while he's fixing. Mm -hmm. She's done that before. Yeah, I've sat and, and watched and him do things. the skills also because my wife does that. Always, she, you know, she, if she don't retain. So yeah. She's not going to retain. I don't retain knowledge that I don't. But I'll she, start she don't, what's, If what's she don't want to learn it, she ain't going to do it. If she's not interested in it, she don't want to. But and, I'll entertain him. Uh, take the chance to observe what he's yep, doing. Yeah, I'll sit there and talk his ear off while he's doing <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. Another thing which is very helpful. Let's say we have the weekend time. Mm -hmm. uh, are you off work during Just the Sunday. Uh, just Sunday. Let's say we have Sunday. Sunday, we have to organize it 
in a way that would, we would benefit the most of something. Mm -hmm. I will make time for recreation time. Mm -hmm. I will make time for family time. That we share things. So we, schedule. We laugh, we, you know, we talk, we play together. Mm -hmm. I will make time for shopping. Mm -hmm. Like one hour shopping, two hours depends. We go to the supermarket. We buy stuff because during the weekdays I cannot go to the supermarket. Maybe you can go, but mm -hmm. him, he cannot. I will make time for repair and maintenance. Mm -hmm. Like one hour, two hour, I will offer. Oh, hey guys, um, I have one hour free for maintenance or for repair or whatever. Anything in the house need to be repaired? Mm -hmm. Okay, you would say, well, maybe the doorknob, if you like, or the, the, the tap, or, you know, the, the car needs to, to have oil change, or whatever, you mm -hmm. know, because he offered you one hour of maintenance, or, or maybe the filter of the air, EC. Mm -hmm. I changed that this morning. Oh, you did? Good mm -hmm. for you. Okay. Could have had you do it, but I did it myself. Good job, buddy. Yeah. 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 So, it's good idea to organize our times. Mm -hmm, I agree. And always, I would allocate time for repair or maintenance, and another time for shopping. Mm -hmm. So by doing this, you you don't have to ask. He would offer. He would say, "Hey guys, you know I have one one to two hours for any kind of repair or maintenance or stuff like that. Just let me know if there's any." If there's no nothing, okay, well. Boom, I get my hour back. I like this idea, Sam. Yes. This is structure and organization. Yes, because this is a time to have a meal together, mm -hmm. a time to spend time with the family, a time to take the family to the swimming pool and we swim together, mm -hmm. a time to visit relatives, your, your family, his family, there's a time for this thing, mm -hmm. a time to go shopping, a time to do maintenance time. While he's doing the maintenance time, maybe you will do the laundry mm -hmm. thing, okay? Oh yeah, I'm gonna set a time to do laundry. Boom, yeah. I love this, Sam, this is beautiful. <laughs> she to do laundry. All right, we got a couple more minutes. Give him an assignment. He needs okay. some help too. So, yeah. What are you, you working you on, Dre? You are the man of the house, you may set the time, you know, on, on weekend on, or Sunday, say like uh, the morning time, we're gonna spend things this way. The noon time, we are, we're gonna go out, eat, have lunch or dinner, depends, or visit your family or visit her family. Okay, and then, okay, if anybody needs uh, maintenance or stuff like that, repair thing, Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, either I will show you how or I will do it myself. Depends on what they know because I want to empower them. Empower. Yeah, because I don't want them to rely on me. Like mm -hmm. this is something that they can do. I will teach them how to do it. Mm -hmm. I will observe them yeah. to make sure that they are do it, doing it the right way. And then I will say, well, from now on, you can do it. Mm. You know, a flat tire, I know you can fix it. You know, uh, ch oil change, I know you can do it. If, you know, if, unless we can take it to the oil change shop or, yeah. you know, uh, uh, door handle, I know you can do it. Go and fix it. Mm -hmm. You know, changing the bulb, changing the AC filter, you know, I know, I know, uh, love, you can do it, Lenny. Yeah. Yep. So you do it. I'm on it. So. You can delegate things, you can organize the time, and just assign. Today is Sunday, we're gonna use it the best way we can. We wanna enjoy it, we wanna go for fun, we're gonna see our relatives, we're gonna go shopping, we're gonna repair things. Just assign the time for everything. Right. That would be fine. On Sunday. Right. So that's an assignment, yeah. So your assignment is to identify however many, I say five. I work on Sundays, so 
what are five things that we need to accomplish as a family? We could talk about this more off, offline, but, and we'll do that. But can I add to your assignment to where, since you feel overwhelmed as soon as you come in, actually say that, say, hey, and I know you say it, but you're not saying it in a way that stops people from coming to you. Say, hey, I just came in the house. Allow me the space to yada yada communicate whatever it is and I know you've done it but you're not communicating in a way that stops people also what I would like to see is hey Lonnie hey hey Bay, whatever you want to call me can you pick this up for me so I will be receptive regardless of how I've been in the past I want to take things off of your plate that you feel that other people can do so instead of them putting it on you, like I told the kids last night, I was like, I'm not solving your problem for you. Solve it for yourself. Tell people, myself included, and if someone's like, hey, do this, do this, like, babe, I need you to do this for me. You understand? Mm -hmm. So this week, he's going to delegate to me. Yes. He's going to structure our Sunday. Yes. The garage needs to be one of those things. He's going to structure our Sunday, and I am going to increase physical touch, affectionate eyes, and there's a third thing I'm supposed to be doing. And do not, do not wait for the other to show them the good touch. Yes, I'm on it. You know, write them down and keep them, keep them, okay. keep them accountable. Okay. So he yeah. has to delegate. Delegation. So he doesn't feel overwhelmed when he comes home. And assigning time, uh, organizing the time. Yeah, organize the time for Sunday. So what needs to happen as a family, which it can include fun time, family meeting, organization, fixing, whatever. He can yeah. put out whatever he wants to. And do not wait for the other to show the human touch. The human touch. Those are our assignments, Sam. So I I would rely on myself. Okay, I would say I will show the human touch. Mm -hmm. I don't say, oh, he's supposed to show me the human touch and he's not doing this. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Yep. I don't say that. I don't think this way. Yep. I say, well, I need to show him the human touch. Mm -hmm. And then he will feel it. And he will enjoy it. And then he will remember it. Yep. Say, well, yeah. I need to show her the human touch. Mm -hmm. So, partnership. That's all you're partnership, saying. Partnership, equality, mutual work. Mm -hmm. Because you are equal partners. Yep. True. Yeah. Like what you're saying. I like what you're saying. You won me back. All right. Then I'll see you next week with the good news, with good progress, and good achievement. All right. I would like to see Dre talking more simply because the only way I get into his head is if you help me poke in there because he's quiet. It, so that, your homework is to get yeah, this yeah, man okay, talking. Okay. Getting. <laughs> Dre talking so I can figure out. And Dre yeah. talking more. Yes, so that we, so we can work talk, through our stuff. Be like I don't say nothing. Just I said to get you talking more. Like, I found out that you, you were overwhelmed after work. I didn't know that. Lenny, yes, I'm sorry. Some people, they think this is a good trait if the person listens more and talk less. Yeah. Maybe this is his personality. It is. And it, this is nice, not bad, because... But we're in therapy. I need him to talk. Yeah, yeah. Well, we need For therapy. an hour. Let's put that on his schedule. For an hour a day in therapy on Monday, you need to talk. Yeah. You, you need to, okay, we will have him do talk, talk more. More, yeah, yeah I need more. Yeah. more. more. I do touch dialogue. you. No, I don't want dialogue. What I need is, in this, and I got the whole thing on video, in this entire meeting, you may have said five words. And, and, more and, five words. Okay, Tim, you're getting caught up on the, the number of words. What I'm saying is, you disclosed that you have an issue that it did not take Sam to pull out of you. You could have said this and we could have worked through this. But because he is able, because you are able to, yeah. and I appreciate you, yeah. let's and 
pull mm-hmm. more out so that we can heal through some more stuff because you you've offered us a healing point yes, yes. which we haven't been able to have before so that's just can we use utilize our time it's not just me oh uh, here we go on you uh, yeah I have can we go on you? For you for next time do you mind if next time you put the novel on the table yeah so you would be like facing her you know, face to face instead of looking this way I was trying to get the delete. Uh, he was deleting photos to create space okay. on his so phone. You can do it before or after, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it, we, we need a time for mm-hmm. eye contact. Mm-hmm. Eye contact is very important. I agree. Eye contact between me and you. Mm-hmm. Eye contact between you and her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, because these are also uh, bodily language. Mm-hmm. The, the eye contact. Like... If you are talking to me and I'm looking at this portrait, mm-hmm. I'm not showing enough interest of what you say. Yeah. But if I look at you like that, yeah. that, that but I, means I, I'm all ears to yeah. listen to what you say. I receive what you're saying 100%, but I also understand what he was doing because I could see his phone, and so I know what he was doing. I understand what you're saying. I'm in 100% agreement, but... I don't feel any kind of way about what he was doing because I know it wasn't that he wasn't paying attention. I know he was solving a problem that he was yeah, having. Yeah. Me so, notice I didn't do it last time. I didn't have my phone at all last time. Yeah, so he, he was yeah, true. he true. was trying to do something with his phone but it yeah, wouldn't allow him to do it. Listening. He was listening to us. Yeah, so every single word we said he was an uh, active but, listener. But there are times when he is sitting there playing on his phone she when we're having conversations. More. She wants me to more dialogue. She wants to hear my voice. Is what she, yeah. Yeah. I think Why not? Why no, not? That, no, in agreement with you, okay. there are times when he is distracted by his phone. But in that present circumstance, he was trying to solve a problem. Okay. But I'm with you. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. All righty, Sam. All right. Hey. Let's see what we have here.